Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only. And today we're going to be playing Destiny Knights. Now, I've seen this game, it just popped up out of its pre register, and it's time to try it out and see what it is. Ugh. Ah, it's already taken, really. Oh well. That is not what I wanted. Wait, can I? Oh yeah, it was like 12. All right. Eh, I kind of want to see the animations. Because normally Netmarble does like some pretty good animations. Wait, is that... Hold on. Is that the same voice actor that voiced the um, pig from... Seven Deadly Sins? Yeah, it is! I knew I recognized that voice from somewhere. So what's the gameplay like? Oh god, we have him as a... <laughs> as an ally. So I'm guessing down the road they'll probably do like a collab with uh, Seven Deadly Sins and have a skin for him or something. Asher. Wait a minute, what have I seen this from? So they automatically... Can I move? Okay, yeah, I can move him if I want to. I think I've seen it somewhere. Okay, so they got skills too. I like how they randomly zoom. This gameplay also seems familiar too. I feel like I've seen another game do this. Or something similar. I think I've actually seen two games that are kind of like this. Okay, so I could just tap it too. So you have a time limit of when you can like place down a skill too. Okay. Oh wait, hold on, I have seen this. What is the name of it though? Okay, that's actually pretty dope. I think it's coming back to me. It was Destiny something. Destiny 6, that's what it was. Okay, yeah, this is basically... Re, uh... Pretty, pretty much localized, just translated to English and renamed. So this is pretty much the global version of this. Okay, that makes sense. This is where I've seen it from. Okay. I wasn't a huge fan of it because it looked weird. But now that I'm actually playing it, it... Okay, so you could just use that to dodge too if I wanted to. So some of your skills are like very evasive. Oh, and you could break the boss's abilities too. Uh, who needs it? Alright, is this the whole party's HP? Oh, you can move the whole team instead of just one. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Actually, pretty straightforward gameplay. Oh, 
We can kill him before then. There we go. So I guess this whole thing up here is our HP bar. When I playing it, the gameplay isn't half bad. But that's pretty much the difference from playing a game from watching it. If you're watching it, then it's just like, eh, it doesn't look like something I can get into. But when you're playing it, it's just like, hmm, maybe I can get behind this. But I definitely know it's not really my playstyle, for sure. Alright, we're going to go through the tutorial now. So it seems like they have some, uh, probably enhancements coming. But I noticed that Netmarble is really obsessed with night games or anything with night in the title. Knights Chronicle, Seven Nights, <laughs> and now Destiny Nights. It's just a common trend with them. If you see a night game, you can go ahead and guess that it's Netmarble. Especially if it's popular. But they've been doing like a lot of different things this year. First they got Seven Nights, which is pretty much nearly a full auto game. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and interrupt that. Which pretty much has you doing like... Well, it's pretty much an auto game and you can just pick whichever skills you want and stuff like that. Then now they made Knight's Chronicle, which is pretty much, hey, you can pick any skill you want. You don't have to worry about your characters using base attacks and everything and now you have an auto moving game which is pretty much action kind of like seven knights but they're not stationary they can move around dodge attacks yeah they're doing a lot this year which I'm impressed with So I kind of like the strategy behind it too. You gotta pay attention to the boss, you gotta pay attention to the surroundings, even the annoying enemies that are right next to you, that won't leave you alone. <laughs> Always bothering me. So they still got the same like enhancement system, well not enhancement, the same abortion system that I believe Seven Knights had. But then again, I haven't played Seven Nights in years, so I don't remember, really remember anything. I played Seven Nights for like a whole year and a half and dropped it just because there wasn't enough things to keep me occupied. I just got bored with it. And PvP wasn't really fun in the game because of multiple reasons. But we're not going to be talking about that right now. I've talked about enough of that in my streams. All right, look at this guy. I got a hat and everything. Must be royalty. Oh my god, he's a warrior. That's what he is. Is there a way to cancel this? No, there isn't. That kind of sucks. So if you already start a skill, you can't really cancel it. I was thinking it would literally be like a way to save it. Ah, he's dead. So pretty much you just fight the boss and kill him. You can kill the minions that are on the side though. Are we gonna, okay. I'm about to say, are we just gonna keep going through the region since we're done with the first area? So what's this? I'll claim your rewards? Is it... Okay. I was about to say, is it a set summon or is it just something else? Okay, summons. That's a really creepy face. Weird CGI. 
We're gonna get a two star out of this, so. Who's this guy? Can he even breathe? That's my question. I'm I'm holding and dragging him. Hold? Drag. That's what I've been doing. Multiple times, actually. So they went with the whole key stamina thing from um, Seven Nights 2. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's go with this. Hello? Oh, I guess you can save your skill. You just gotta put it back right here, I think. Strike skill. Oh, okay. So instead of carrying like four, the fourth guy is pretty much like a helper skill. Hmm. Oh, all right. That's odd, but uh, I, I can, I can deal with that. Oh my God, he's a sharpshooter. All right, guys, we got to take him out. I want to see? Can you put it back? Okay, yeah, you can. As long as he's back over his like original skill. That's gonna cause some issues, especially if a character is like literally under. Really? If a character is literally under your skill like that. Now we're gonna stop that. You don't get that luxury. He's almost dead. There we go. Been playing a lot of odd games this week. Oh my god, it's the owl. Alright, so the, the owls are enhancement materials? So when do I get a powerful ally? That's my question. I am curious about their codex, too. Oh, they even gave you a lot for your first summon. You get a guarantee five in seven days. All right, they're being very gen generous on the opening. But how much is their summoning? That's the question. Okay, it's exactly that much. Let's go ahead and do the first summon before we go ahead and collect our stuff from my mailbox. Oh, we got a three star? Okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh, the first summon is a guarantee five? Oh, they're being really generous here. I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about that, though. Okay, let's see. What do we get? Since it's a guarantee five. Um, so we have a story for the summit? Konakotoa Bokumo Hajimetis. Then Kai Shokan Statokiwa. Dice wa Bijakna Tsorewa. Since a boost in Freta Dice, then sets Shoka. Bunkin this. Wait, so is this the hint for like legendary summons? You get like story about it? Nakedo, Hontoni Kiret. This is weird. Okay. So it changes yellow. So that to indicate like four or up. 
Hopefully this isn't like a set summon or anything. I'll be sad. I just look over here and I'm thinking he's on house arrest just because that thing around his ankles. So you king astanode. They're really putting me in suspense about my summonings right now. But I don't want to skip just because I don't know if this is like a one-time thing. Oh, so it even says Destiny 6. I think it said Destiny 6 in like its opening too. So that's kind of my fault for not like recognizing it now. If I was to play this game, I don't think I would like make a series out of it. If anything, it would probably just be another one of my break games, just a chill. Alright. Oh my god, you are one freaky character. Let's hope it all by one by one. Just because we're experiencing the new characters that come in. Everything's curious to us. Oh my god. Mustang? <laughs> You actually look adorable. I hope, hopefully, you do go up to six star because I actually might build you if you have some good skills on you. Can you like look? Okay, you can relook at him. Buffer and attacker. Okay, I didn't notice that. What are you? You're a buffer. You're a buffer. A lot of buffers here. Who are you? A breaker. So each character only gets two skills. A uh, attacker and breaker. He looks pretty weird. I wish you could turn him around too. During your summons. So he's a debuffer and attacker. He actually looks pretty dope. I like him. So I wonder, do they look? Do their looks change when they evolve? We'll probably see that in the codex. Okay, four stars. Ah, cooking it up in the kitchen. You got some healers and a buffer. All right. What do you have? Oh my god, no! Please don't fill my memes. All right, we have <laughs> we have a debuffer and healer. Duke. And let's see the last one. Gunter. Looks weird, but he's a buffer. So that's everything. Okay. Alright, nothing else. Did my shout-out go out? Am I popular yet? Okay, no, my my shout okay, there we go. <laughs> Somebody had a scroll, Jesus, a scroll already? Somebody's expanding real far, or probably just weld. You gotta, you gotta already know that there's some wells already going at it right now. But we got some codex here. So these are the destiny people. Oh look at it, he even gets a crown too. So what I see, there are awakenings already. It seems like you can awaken them at any level with the material. The council. Which character do I have? Ah, I was wondering if he changed his look. I like him. He actually looks really dope. I'm wondering if they do in skins. Because if they actually do do skins. 
this game might be popular because skins are definitely what makes games, well, a lot of games shine. Do they have boot physics? Just, just checking because every game has, them. oh my, quite, quite the thick one we have here. Um, anywho, <laughs> that answered my question. That answers my question a lot. Don't, don't judge me. I have to look up these things. All right, what about this? Okay, this guy comes from this unit. Um, eh, I guess she kind of looks cool. I thought she had like the little... Like normally you have like the jacket with like the arms on it, but she has like a cloak. Oh jeez. This guy actually looks pretty sick. That's him, but we saw him in the story, obviously. A lot of people with guns. <laughs> so let me guess, this unit is just based off guns? Except for the one chick with sabers. Okay, all of the chicks have sabers, apparently. Are these two... I was about to say, are these two brothers or something? No, they're not. I feel like these are just skins. Or different versions of each other, actually. So they have rock, paper, scissors. Okay. That explains it. All of these guys are all the same. They're just different versions. There's a rock. Well, no. Yeah, there's a rock and there's scissors of this dude. There's a rock and paper of her. There is a scissors and paper of Gunther. Okay. So that explains everything. My bad. I just didn't see it at first. And this one is a breaker and healer. Why, this one is a buffer and healer. Okay, yeah, that explains it. And plus, you have to come in here and grab their rubies and everything when you get them, obviously. Then when you awaken them, you get more rewards too for all that. Get to the five star, you get more. People are already raiding in here. Only one person rated. Put all your heroes on steroids? What does he do? Oh, increases defense and attack speed. Okay, that's not half bad for his first skill. Second skill... Gives the caster defense? Three times. And heals the whole team's HP. See, it's like we got some faction buffs too which is gonna suck considering you're gonna probably have to split everybody up and this is for his striking skill so he, if he's the fourth member of the team okay hmm okay well you can claim all I was about to say dude if I go through all this it's gonna take forever just to get all of them so there's a glossary too for like all the quests and everything for their animations and the story. You can actually see some arts and stuff. Let's see if I could find a thumbnail in here. Yeah, I think that's gonna be a perfect thumbnail. <laughs> what's what's a, the cat? What's this one? Oh dear God! I wish this was wasn't like the long version. All right. So we got the collection codex here too. Collect up the 10 heroes, get this. I could have. Oh no. They're all different factions. So I got three of this faction, one of this faction. Alright. And if you collect a certain hero, you obviously get these rewards too. That's gonna be interesting. So they also have a market here. Oh, that's where you could just buy some of this stuff. So they have a Vulgemon's 
What else do they have? They have arena. Can we go into arena yet? No, we gotta beat stage nine. Yeah, we gotta di beat different stages just to unlock those. Guilds are unlocked as soon as you start, though. Which is nice, so you can go ahead and just rush to get a friend. Um, I'm not going to get that. Events. What are on the event page? Send a friend. Oh, wow. They have a lot of good things for the first starting event. Alright, guys. If you're going to get into this game, definitely start working on that. So, apparently we have stuff in here. Acquire 10 heroes. Awaken some. Yeah, they have a lot of good stuff. So this was going to last 53. Uh, some of these events are nearly expired on next week. I mean, these, the game just started yesterday, so... Well, yeah, it just started yesterday, so yeah, you guys got a lot to go through. And at the end of this, I will have another summon. Hmm. Alright, I guess I'll do like a little special summon. A little special extra summon at the end of this video. But, hope you guys pretty much enjoyed. That's pretty much all the gameplay that I can show you guys. And I will see you guys at the summon. Oh, yeah, by the way, they do have skins inside the game too. So, if you guys are hoping they've been, they would have skins, it is a thing. But they do cost quite a lot if you want like a certain skin. So, yeah, you're going to have to save up a lot. But yeah, from what I see, the game is very generous with its, like, crystals or rubies. But I'm not sure how generous they're going to be through, like, the entire game. And hopefully, you guys saw that we had, like, two different types. One is, um, one is paper, one is scissors and stuff like that. Hopefully, the scissors do go into the paper for, like, leveling up skills. If that's not the case, then... Yeah, you're going to need the actual copy, which is going to suck. So I'm going to drag this in and replace this team. I wanted to use Gunther before I actually skip to the summon. And see how that goes. I wanted to use this character and... No, I actually want to use the Hound. Let's see how that goes. We got ourselves a new team here. This guy buffs. I did not look at all their skills, by the way, so we're going to just YOLO this. All right, let's go in. The trial characters, obviously. I wonder how much different they are from each other. Oh, jeez. Oh, he actually does a lot of damage. All right, so he buffs critted attack and crit rate okay for 12 seconds and has a chance for moving two buffs off allies as for this he has oh that's a lot of damage god damn it I just memed passively and I did not notice it <laughs> so decreases allies cooldown by three seconds upon a crit and has a chance to shock I'm not sure what that would do So I'm guessing you could constantly use this skill. That's why it's charging. You can increase the attack and the movement speed and attack speed of this. Oh, this character is not half bad. I actually like Mustang. He actually seems pretty cool. Increases attack speed and defense. Okay, yeah, we already read his. Yeah, let's increase that attack speed. Let's keep going at it. Let's increase the movement speed too. See how that goes. Oh, well, he died before he did anything. <laughs> but we don't have any breakers. That's going to probably be our main problem. So we got to find a breaker just to replace Mustang, maybe. Or make a breaker inside of our strike. 
Oh, they also have runes too. So as you guys can see that, it's actually a good thing I continued on this video because uh, we probably would have missed that. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, guys. See you guys at the summon. Um, I don't think there's really much else we can show. I think that was pretty much the last thing. But I'm going to go ahead and try and get these... Uh, these rubies so I can do one last summon just to end off this gameplay. So see you guys in a bit. All right, we have some more. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying we're gonna end off the video, but I guess I'll say we'll end off the video inside of the summon because we just unlocked tower. So apparently you can climb tower in this game also, just like Seven Nights. So that's pretty good. And there seems to be like some promising rewards towards the top. So yeah, that's actually pretty cool. I'm still getting through this one. I'm not sure how long. Oh my God. I did not know you you acquired that much. So you can actually get another free tent summon at the end of all this. I kind of missed this because I don't have a breaker. And it, it said break it one more time. I kind of went in with just the same team again. And I need to bring a breaker. I kind of changed them out just because he gives a 10% of crit to papers. So sorry, buddy. You're going to get changed out. And I need to find a breaker. So can you sort them? Um, you can't actually sort them by breaking or any of their like different jobs. That's weird. You would think that would be one of the main things that you could carry around, but for your sort. But nope, it doesn't seem that way. It seems like I'm gonna have to just go in here and just find one. Well, we know um, our main character is a breaker, so let's go ahead and just put him back in, I guess. So, yeah, I'm going to go do this, and if I come across anything else, I'll just throw it up here. Alright, I am back, and I have all the summons we could ever ask for. So we can do two summons, actually. Oh, actually, we could do multiple summons off this. So we got a special summon. Only a three star. I like how you guys told me that there's stuff in my index, but yeah, spamming that is probably not the most entertaining things for players. But we're gonna do the summon. Let's see if we get anything good. Will it be another story or will it just be. Okay. Well, let's hope for another five star. It says a four star and up, so we could get another five star. There's a chance. Oh, we got one. Okay, there we go, there we go. Sweet. Buffer. Wow, this video is going to be more long just because of the summoning. I'm just going to label it 30 summons. <laughs> and constantly going in and out. Telling you guys new things about the game. <laughs> See, that's why I like my videos longer, just because there will always be new things that I missed and couldn't, like, go off of. Alright, we got another Breaker and Attacker. Who's this? Another Spider. Spooter. Oh, my. That is the weirdest hair I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> nah, and I've seen some weird hairstyles. Okay, she's just a full-on debuffer. What's this guy? Oh! So she's a buffer. Alright, she could be good. I'll add her to the team. Oh, it's half off. Oh, they're doing the same thing from um, Seven Nights. Okay, if I knew that, I would just... Save myself the grind. Yes, we got another five-star. That one's just a bonus. Attacker, debuffer... We gotta look at these guys once we're done. Oh god, there always has to be the drunk character. We already know <laughs> we already know a few strong drunk characters. Oh, you look weird. Oh my god, dude, what's up with the small hammer? Come on, dude, you look like you can carry a, like a way bigger hammer than that. And a painting frog. Okay. Naruto must have summoned him. 
Uh, we already seen him. You guys look like you can carry like way bigger weapons than that. At least slightly bigger. Oh my god, it's a crab. And it's falling apart apparently. Oh, you look very strange. You're a breaker and debuffer. What about you? Oh, and even a griffin. I'm actually happy that they've been making like beast or animal characters too, because that's what games have been lacking on too. They mostly focus on like humanoid type monsters and units to where they just leave out these type of creatures. Alright. See who it is? Oh, it's the dude with the guns. Yes. So he's attacker and debuffer. Sweet. You know what's funny? We did those summons and out of all those, we basically we mainly got archers out of all that. All of our characters we've gotten are archers. Um, I really don't think it really makes a difference, but still. So what are her skills? Does damage and restores HP. Okay, if it crits though. Second one, restores the entire team's HP and... Oh. Okay. That's actually pretty decent. Creates a shield. Makes you invincible to debuffs. That's not how bad either. Sadly, she's not paper, so I can't really really like match her up with the whole 10% on paper increase the crits but the character I have where is he this one he still does give out like an increase the 20% increase the crit rate that's still nice so that still goes to her all right what does this guy do Oh, AoE damage. Oh, with crit hit. So all these characters I got, like, can, can go together. Okay, and he ignores defense, too. So, it, on if he actually crits attacks, though. He increases the crit damage for... Okay, yeah. Alright, I know which one I need to go for... <laughs> So I got some pretty good pulls. Not half bad. So if I was to actually make a team for this. Uh wait, hold up. I don't I wouldn't have a breaker, so I have to put him down here. Just to have as a breaker. And they would do this, then swap these two. Then we'd put her in there. There we go. So let's see how this team fights. Oh wow, they, they kind of destroy. I do have it on auto. So this whole like loading thing or that cooldown thing. This is how many times you can use this. So I can use this again. So it stacks. Which is really nice. Okay, so this is... This seems it isn't like half bad. At all.
Oh wow, and they just melted the boss. Okay. <laughs> well then. Yeah, this will definitely be my, like, chilling game. It won't be like a series or anything. It, it just doesn't... I just don't feel like making it into a series. It's not one of those, like, series games for me. But, hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys on the next one. That's pretty much it. Till then, peace out. Swear it's gonna get better real soon. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're gonna make it soon. Just keep pushing through. Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Just keep pushing through. Cause what you got to lose?